Yeah, I love you too hard. She left me here with this guitar. Uh, hold up, guys. My bad. Uh, hey, let's go. It's just me and this guitar playing the song. You can try stealing my heart, it's already gone. You can tell something is wrong, just leave me alone. Sweat going down on my ball. Bro, what the f are you even talking about? Welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. Now, I don't know what this one's about. All I know is how every single story goes. You get stalked or something, and it's actually, apparently, real stories from, um... If you have a story to share, look, if you have a story to share, send it at Fears of Fathom Stories. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. Whoa. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Can I go on? I, I can go on the computer. Hold up. Browser. You know what I'm thinking? www.youtube.com slash forward slash at Pompous Cape. Does it work? Okay, I don't think it worked. At that point, I couldn't continue my work without a cup of coffee. Um, okay. Wait, I'm in the office? Oh, shoot. I thought I was at like home. Oh no. Oh no, offices are scary. And where's the coffee at? Wait. I hear a computer clicking. Other people are here. I coffee. Need to prepare a cup of coffee. So give me the cup. Put it. What? Put it there. Oh, it needed water. Um, just throw that. Now we need the. What? What? infinite coffee uh then we put the cappuccino in there and then what do we do now oh wait no i want to oh, i want a different one hey i need to put on a lid bro you're not fancy what are you who are you all right there we go right mouse button to sip oh that's about to burn my mouth oh drink oh it ain't burning my mouth okay need to use the restroom damn already yo that flew through your body huh why is the door open yeah, I did not open that door. Hey, hey. Who gonna stop me? Yo, where the boys at? Well, your, and your poochie banana? All your, all your what the fuck? Alright, am I a woman? Huh? Hold on, firstly, throw that cup. Can I also go in the men's? No. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going in uncharted territory right now. Ah! Ah! Ugh. I don't belong in here. Where's the couches? Alright, wait, which one do I want to use? Honestly, what is this? Drink up while using the bathroom. Couldn't do it with the door wide open. Oh yeah, you right. Okay, there we go. I had to put the toilet seat down. There we go, finally. Wait, what happened to my drink? Wait, what? Oh, ew, I'm actually using the bathroom? Yo, future me, add pooping sounds. What? That's a dude, why is a dude in here? Wait, what? Why am I in here? Hold up, let me let me drink my soda real quick. Oh, but actually, I can just throw the drink at him. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, my gut hurts, dog. Oh my god. Uh, yo, I jumped back on my chair. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. Shut up! You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so, so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Not gonna lie, bro. You was doing your job, dog. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Husta sipped my mind. What? That did not say Husta. What has you frustrated, sir? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Do not show the clip of me throwing the coffee cup 10 seconds ago. Hold on, firstly, throw that cup. Um, just throw that. Oh, I want a different one. Hey! Yeah, that's like, really rude. Like, who would do that? Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be picking here- <laughs> Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Uh, well, but have a good night. Hold up, a call. Hold up, guys. I think you know what I'm about to do. Steady, Steady calling call my phone. I told you before that it's so. Bro, that song is just so good. Lil TJ is the best artist literally ever made. Oh my god, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying. You literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see. Let's not say our name first. Let's say, uh, hello. Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, what up, Mike? Wait, I'm a girl. Hey, Mike. 
been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Why am I gay? Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Stop asking for my number. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stop laughing. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. <laughs> you did it. You're harassing me. Uh, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. <laughs> Who's Nora? No, I'm going to be dry because I don't want you. A bit annoyed about me calling. Seriously, Harper, this is a bad time. Mike, come on, I'll do it now. Like, damn, dude. That's the Sydney Harper I know. I'm what? sorry if I was being pushy. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. <laughs> I ain't paying no gas money, no, so you better, no uh, bet I am. It's just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. So, who's Nora? And what do you mean Mike and Sydney time? Sounds good. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Oh my gosh, when all you do is yap, yap, yap. Just make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Eventually. Rentacabin.com. Bling, bling. Neck piece on Blizzard, baby. I'll throw some ones, baby. Ooh, Loki, this is tough. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds, 1.5 shared bathrooms. Okay. Uh, let's just book. I guess we can't look at the reviews. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily, so I'll give you the basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. Now my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Whoa! Are you Mike? Ew, don't look at me. Afternoon. <laughs> Quite chilly today, eh? I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to just introduce myself. I'm Gail, and I want to touch you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. You have a good day, too. Uh, escape to hang up. Bruh, I forgot my suitcase. Uh, shut up! Damn! I forgot my suitcase. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Oh, that's bro right there. Don't come up to me. Yeah, stay there. I need to go get my bag, though. Oh, there. There we go. Hey, what's good, bro? Let me, uh, just... Ah! Yo, you are one ugly mud trucker. Harp. Let me hug you, son. I love y'all. I'm gonna go up on... Look. Yeah. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Because I did not miss you. Long hug? Nah, just a test to see if you smelled first, flippin' dude. Hey, <laughs> hey. Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Hee hee hee. Long hug. Shut up. Oh, why do I gotta give this dude a long hug? You look good. Oh hell no, nah, man! I'm a cold, I'm a, I'm a cold case in right here. Thanks for picking me up, son. Would I have any other way? It'll be nice to have a company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right? This bad boy's been through a lot. All right, can we just get the going? You can just throw your stuff in the back, and we'll get on our way. Please don't diddle me. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Moe's Pizza. Oh, we going into here? What? Oh, wait, hold up. Cartoon. Okay. Is that queso? You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having oh, they a bad day. Arguing on Maybe live news? Should... <laughs> cool off. <laughs> that was not funny. You, 
go out here and deal with the snow Ooh. instead of me. I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Damn. Why would I need rhinoplasty? My D face looks perfectly fine. Damn. You can also use some Botox while you're at it. Whoa, Actually, the Queso you going crazy. The light engineer behind the camera. Yo, you getting I cooked by Queso, bro. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the engine. Guys, grab your popcorn. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about <laughs> I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, let's do it, punk. Ooh. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hold up. They gonna scrap live TV? Alright, so why is bro tweaking over here? What's up, bro? Oh, okay. Uh, hey, what's up? Are you Mo? Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. There ain't no thought. There ain't a single thought behind those eyes, are they? Are there? Hmm, nah. And why your head is slowly going more back and back? Okay, your head better snap off. Why is it? Why is it going backwards? I'm scared. Okay. Guys, I don't think this is normal. I don't think the human head can can turn this way. I'm just gonna exit, yeah. Evening, folks. Looks like the codes got everything in one crime paper tonight. You fine folks know what you want. I just want the cheese. Just the cheese. And for you, miss, I just want the cheese. Alright, what's your second slice? I just want the cheese. The third? <laughs> I just want the cheese. Alrighty then. Six hot slices coming right up. Somebody's behind you, you're gonna get murdered. Oh, okay, never mind. You're order number 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your piece is ready. Okay, thank you, buddy. Alright, I guess I'll talk. Oh, yeah. It smells so good in here. Hold up, I need to do another long sniff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Hold up, a voice message? Oh. What? What? Bruh. Bruh. Ranking chances of surviving horror movie monsters. Chuck, I'm going to touch him inappropriately. Hey there, my friends. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hello there. I saw y'all pooning driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going in the same direction. And you want to ride, don't you? You don't mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, not gonna lie, bruh. You chill as hell. Where are you headed? Just head where the road takes me. I'm bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So, what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit to ride down that snow road? Uh, yes. Like what? Hold on a second. No. He's coming with us. Don't you think we need to discuss this? I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry. I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll even ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. Dude, I would give you, I, I would give him a ride. You got me pooping me, lady. No space? I know it's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people mean unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Hey, dude, don't look at me. Say that to old Joe Swanson right there. What? I don't know. I, I forget his name. Are, are you threatening us? Oh, he's standing on that business, huh? He's standing on that business. No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Are you serious? How are you going to let... Where is he going? Where's he going? Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Exactly. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. <laughs> All right, Dad. Where did he go? Oh, I. Right. Ready? Right. <laughs> give us a twirl. Turn. Yep. Give me the keys. I'm bad. At, I'm bad at witness help. Oh! <laughs> lane, lane departure. <laughs> Sorry. 5:49 p.m. Oh, W. I'm driving. You look scared. I can't turn. Ah, no, I'm kidding. Oh, let me just crash the car real quick. All right, let me pull in the driveway. Let me pull in the drive. Hey, we out. Uh, it was a very cold night. Open that. Give me that. Shut that. It was a quaint little house. Okay, well, I didn't get the address. Hey, 
What's the code again? Hold up. Um, 5176. 5, 1, 7, 6. What? Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Alright, give me that. Now go there. Uh, open the door. Whoa, and we inside. Oh, I wanted to shut the door on you. Okay, we're in the flipping house. What? What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. What? Let me hike. There we go. All right, my button open. What? And then put all of it away, buddy. Bro, you can't do that. Whew. Sorry about that, heart. Hang on. I really need to pee. Uh, I need to go pee real quick. Smell alone told me Pete's had really done a number on Mike. He better flush. Okay, he did flush. Hi, right, dude, you can't do that. Hey, hey, hey! You feeling better after a drive? I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. Whoa. Yo, a Ouija board? Yeah, we are not touching that. Hold up, can I? Oh, yeah, no. I do not want to. Boom. All right, you got to move. Hey, what's upstairs? Okay, let's get to know the house. Okay, I'm not getting trapped in here again, so... Slow laundry room. Uh, yes! Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. <laughs> You're here. You scared us, okay? Oopsie Daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. Yeah, I do not want to be here. What a lovely young couple you are. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. We're, we're not a couple. We're not a couple. Oh, damn. Yeah, he gon' he gon' kill me for sure. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question, my bad. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you N never mind, never mind. Oopsie Daisy. Silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. Dude, you're freaking you're freaking me out, dog. Back up for me. Look at you. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Cat. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your family guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Oh shoot, we going to this room? Hey sir, what's the, what's, what's, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to go concern yourselves with. Kinda use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space, they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Well, curiosity killed the cat. He did not say that. Alright folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit that road now. Gotta find that dang cat. Thanks. Thanks for showing us around, sonny boy. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Okay. Oh, this shower, okay. Let's get in. Fully closed. Shower door was open. Oh, shoot. Fully closed is crazy. Come on. Ugh. Refreshing. What? Oh, that was just the door. Okay, W, I guess. All right, what's on... Yo, you look like you had a, a machete. Stop trying to go after me. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Oh, they got basketball? I better be able to shoot it. What? Okay, I don't care. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Hey! Oh, shoot. Oh, side mission. Huh. Bucket? Wait, did I make that? Hell no, I didn't. Right there? Bruh, I used to be a baller back in the day. Hell no, you were not. Oh, watch that. Hey! There oh, we go. Mike. Yeah, watch this. I'm about to hit two in a row. Hey! Oh, MJ? Michael Jordan. Pulling up from three. Jump, jump. Ah, Steph Curry! Ah! Oh, shoot. Are we going to the creek? It looking nice out here, not gonna lie. Also, my thing up there just swinging. Nigga, what? Nigga, why? Let's throw that down. 
Then how do I cast? Oh, there we go. Cast that right on his. Oh, shoot. I got one. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. This is light work. There we go. Easy. Common carp. Keep throwback. Hell no. I'm keeping that. We in good. They say whenever there's a one carp, there's always more. Shut up. Oh, there we go. Another one. Oh, hold up. There we go. A common carp. Keep it. Woohoo! You just got one carp left. You got this. Come on, dude. Just one flipping more. One more. Oh, there we go. Bucket. Oh, shoot. This one's, like, harder. There we go. Wait. Okay, it's actually a carp. Okay. Hey, I'm done. All right, harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the dinner? Yeah, let's do it, boy. Come on. I'm gonna just drop that lever right there. You feel me? Bro, wait. Why the hell did the music just get so eerie? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Uh, just take a bowl and throw it in the ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. I'm not gonna remember that. So first thing, yogurt, extra virgin olive oil, black pepper. Oh, we do need uh, salt. Yeah, where the black pepper would be right though. Black pepper. What is this? Italian seasoning. There we go. Then then ginger jar garlic pasta paste. There we go. You mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chew up these veggies? Uh, sure. What? Oh, I guess I'm gonna just throw it there. Put that there. Uh, oh wait, two carps. Marinade. Uh, how, how, okay, there. What? How could you add the now? Now could you add the veggies? Oh, okay. I already need to go in for 30 minutes at full hunting. Okay, give me that. Put that there. Open. Bing, bing, bow. Next piece of lizard, baby. Also, what about this extra one? While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room in the room next to the living room. Uh, I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. I already know what we gonna play. We gonna play some chess, boy. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullcrap. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That? That's a great idea! Why did I sound like Mickey? I don't know, but we gonna go. All right, let's go. Anyways, do you know how to how this works, Harper? Hell yeah. Okay, um... All right, then, you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? Can you see us? First, let's ask if there is anybody here. What? Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Oh my gosh. Huh? What? Wait for me! What the hell? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. Where am I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why did bro dip like that? But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Why did he leave me? You saw how he dipped? There's some freaky crap going on down there, Harp. And you left me. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. Like what? What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your butt too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? No, this thing Cocoa good though. Um, Wait, messages. Michael J. Carter. Who's that? What? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Remember how you left me in the basement? There. Don't make sounds. Walk slow. Okay. He's doing this to mess with me. Huh? <laughs> Dude! Oh my god, young man. Kill yourself! One minute, 37 seconds later. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. You're gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't. Like, what, bruh? I swear on my life, I heard something. Okay, he ain't even lying. And plus, he called me Sydney, not Harp. I see his attic access door in here. Uh... So you gonna go up, right? Don't walk up to me. Like, what? You gonna go up. Are you gonna check it out? Uh, you're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think, uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us should really look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? 
<laughs> Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Mm-hmm. Use that step so behind you and climb up. Oh, I'm scared, dog. Oh, no. I need the light. There it is. Boom. That's terrifying. Oh, huh, huh, huh. Uh, hey, hey, kitty. Hey, what you doing out here, big dog? Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> it was uh, just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Huh? Huh? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Yes, you do. I'm living here for now. I I paid. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so, so I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been in here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. You asked me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I don't... We don't need... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this, bruh. Like, damn, what you talking about? Now he mad. Look at him. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. What? Think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. If you folks don't like me fix the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Uh... Why you... Uh, my bad, bro. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Hey, peace out, y'all. Okay, oh, end of chapter. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Huh? Space to get up. Why do I gotta get up? I mean, okay. Why am I sleeping with the creepy attic? What? Ah! Okay, why were you like... Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Um, sure. Close the door. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. Yeah, it's really gotten pretty bad. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Uh, what? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about, Mike? What a day, huh? This ha wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was gonna go, Sydney. I know, right? Like, the diddler came over and tried to diddle our butts, but you know, we're fine. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He, he does own the place, Mike. I know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Actually, nah, I want you to stay awake. Because I really need some sleep. Uh, hey, why you push me? You ain't sleep with me. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Oh, he trying to get some of that play. Harp, you know? I've missed this. Missed what? Us just talking. It's been too long. Oh, hell no, nah, man. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting the it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, play with my balls. Play with my balls. <laughs> you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Oh my gosh. Oh he is he the murderer? He gonna kill me? Please don't kill me. Oh. Oh. You actually don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. I do remember it really will no i don't fill me in it didn't start out awkward though mike we had a lot to drink things happened oh he laid down the pipe they sure did i'm hoping maybe they can happen again what drives the oh wait sos hold up what happened i think i'm about 70 miles away from woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out damn What does it say? I don't understand what she said. Um, chill. 
Um, hell yeah, baby girl, don't even stress. What's up, Mike? What timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Nope. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. What? No! I mean, I guess I don't want you to kill me but later, so I'm going to just hug you. Hug. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Now slam that door on. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and needed, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Why do I need to get up again? Oh, they're back. Jungle Beats. Someone was at the front door. Okay. Who is that? Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride for some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Um, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Dot, dot, dot. My bad. Are you flipping kidding me? Yo, what the hell? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big bull b-word here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? Think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here, sonny boy. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. Yeah, I'm dialing 911 right now. Hello? Oh shoot, I'm just calling money, cause I'm chasing it all the time. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. What? Karma's a B word, my friend. What are you talking about, dude? Go knock on everybody else's door. Damn. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Um, okay. I couldn't keep my eyes open, I had to get some sleep. Okay, let's go back to bed. And let's hope that dude don't come in make me dead. Yeah, he definitely gonna break in. So there's three. What? Get up. Huh? What? Yeah, get up, get up, get up. What the hell? At this point, I had no chance but to call for help. Text Rick. Uh. Rick, please help. Oh, shoot. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you please come back over? There is someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving out around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Oh, Rick. Rick. Hello. Despite how strange Rick had been seeing him there, was a relief. What's up, Rick? Rick, I'm sorry. What the hell's going on here? Rick, I'm so glad you came. Uh, let me explain the situation. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I won't worry about him anymore. What? Uh, and you still got that hammer on, don't you? Hey, you a, you a, de you a demon, huh? By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Mike, he went to pick up our other friend. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. What? Huh? Hey. Hey. Get away. It was freezing cold outside. Oh, and I can't run? Bruh. Hey. What's up? Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. You are not Rick, are you? Who are you? No, I don't want to address it. It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just, uh, overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. Now, that's too much. I'm gonna... You are not Rick, are you? What did you just say? Confront? Oh, I'm cooked. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. This is my flipping house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, 
it would be one of us. What? Well, I mean, yeah, it's only both of us. What? Huh? What? Oh, shoot. I'll leave. What? <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I can't run? What the hell? Oh my god, $50. Oh my god. Okay, let me get the light. And the thing I wanted to see is like, you know, when he comes up, he's like, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, and tries to like kill me. I'm gonna just run down here and hide underneath the stairs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, go. And I'm just like, run downstairs. Oh, damn, I farted. Peace out, y'all. Peace out, y'all. Run, 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 run. Bruh. Shut the door on him. Just run. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I'm dead. Okay, I'm gonna try and hide in the basement, in the uh, attic. I'm hiding in the attic. Okay, I'm I, I'm hiding in the attic. Run. Hang up, hang up, hang up. I'll go in the attic. Just go in the attic. Hey, you don't see nothing. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, they're cooked. Are you all right? I've called 911. Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Bet W. Thanks, bro. Then let me send. Okay. They're there, but he broke the hand. He broke the door? What type of superhuman is this? Dude, dude, dude. Oh, they about to break the door down? W. Oh, the back door is all open. Oh my gosh, dude. You can't do that, bro. That was a silent scream. Hey, who are you? Oh, Nora? What's up, bro? I told them everything that happened after Mike left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Like always. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from robbing us. Uh, yeah, of course. 